Cannabis has been known to humanity since the dawn of time and even earlier. In the prehistoric era, they even grew up to several dozen meters tall. The earth was then clad with cannabis forest. Thanks to excavations, we know that it was already under cultivation approximately 10,000 years ago. Its qualities were praised by Chinese emperors and doctors. George Washington himself had his own small cannabis field. Queen Victoria indulged in cannabis tincture. The remnants of the herb were found in Shakespeare's pipes. And the father of the world's motorization, Henry Ford, used cannabis sativa to create the first ecological car. Cannabis has 25,000 discovered applications. Columbus discovered the new world on a ship whose cordage was made from cannabis fiber. Gutenberg printed the Bible on paper made of cannabis pulp and the Founding Fathers of the United States wrote the Declaration of Independence on it. Cannabis cloth was used by German immigrant Levi Strauss to produce durable workwear, that is, the popular jeans. Edible oil was popularly pressed out of cannabis seeds, a rich source of beneficial elements, vitamins and omega-3 and omega-6 unsaturated oleic acids, in the ideal proportion 1 to 3. Cannabis was used as a cure alleviating stomach and tooth aches in the folk medicine of our ancestors, stimulating the production of milk in breastfeeding mothers, improving appetite or as a sleeping pill. Cannabis sativa is a cultivated plant. It does not need good farmland, it grows even in harsh climate. Pesticides are not needed to cultivate it, since it suppresses weed growth and deters pests. Its strong root system perfectly loosens the soil. Thanks to that, it may be sown on the flood banks. Moreover, the cut roots contain lots of nutritional components, which favorably influence fertility. It is an ideal forecrop for many crops and cultivated plants. Besides, it has a very valuable property. It extracts heavy metals and toxic substances from the ground. This makes it perfect for purifying contaminated areas. It also absorbs a lot of CO2 during its growth, which improves the air quality. All these benefits make the cannabis sativa one of the most ecological and useful plants in the world. For thousands of years, cannabis was inseparably related to sustainable progress, ecology and health. And despite the insistent pressure of lobbying groups that in 1937 stopped development of products based on cannabis by the famous Marijuana Act for years, the recent years and research prove that the magic plant has not yet had its final say and still has a lot to offer. The cannabis sativa, also called fibrous cannabis, is a valuable industrial plant providing the fibers and seeds from which cannabis oil is pressed. Cannabinoids also constitute valuable components of the cannabis sativa, the group of phenolic terpenes. The cannabinoids raise interest in pharmacy and medicine due to the fact that they show a therapeutic activity, for example, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, antidepression and anti-cancer. Approximately 100 cannabinoids were identified in cannabis. The most important ones occurring in the largest concentration are Tetrahydrocannabinol, THC, cannabidiol, CBD, and cannabigerol, CBG. The cannabinoids combine with nerve cells receptors, similarly as neurotransmitters. There are two types of receptors in the human organism. CB1 mainly occurs in the nervous system, and CB2 are present in the immune system. Receptors CB1, CB2 and cannabinoids create an endocannabinoid system.
Endocannabinoids are not stored as are other neurotransmitters, but they're produced in response to depolarization of membranes and inflow of calcium ions. They are transported to the cells and decomposed by FAH hydroxylase and MAGL lipase. Endocannabinoids stimulate neurogenesis. They play a role in regulation of appetite, control of blood pressure, motor coordination and emotions and stress control. Deficiency of endocannabinoids may be both a reason for, as well as an effect of many illnesses. For example, in the irritable bowel syndrome and some mental illnesses, and the disturbances of their release may be caused by and intensified by the post-traumatic stress disorder, a phobia, and various forms of chronic pain. The clinical interventions that improve operation of the cannabinoid system comprise administering of the means influencing the activity of CB1, CB2 receptors, improving the synthesis of ligands or inhibiting their decomposition. One of the best identified phytocannabinoids included in the cannabis is CBD. That is cannabidiol. This is a legal active substance of the cannabis with a very wide spectrum of operation. Opposed to THC, it does not demonstrate psychoactive effect. This is 100% legal and has not been classified as a narcotic substance. CBD characteristics. CBD demonstrates neuroactive and neuroprotective characteristics. It fights neurodegenerative and mental disorders, regenerates nervous cells in the organism, stimulates the nervous system, fights against and prevents neurodegradation. It has a relaxing and antispastic effect. It attacks and destroys cancer cells. It inhibits the multiplication of cancer cells. In other words, it leads to apoptosis, which is a suicide of the cancer cells. It reduces oxidation stress, it slows down and prevents aging of the cells and tissues, it supports the natural immune mechanisms of the organism, it protects against free radicals. It also has broad anti-inflammatory effects. It inhibits the inflammation process, it fights inflammation, it prevents inflammation. It alleviates pain, eases and removes pains in the whole organism. It may be applied both internally and externally. It refreshes and purifies the mind. It fights psychosis and fears, calms down, puts at ease. It unwinds and relaxes. It makes it easier to fall asleep and ensures a good sleep. It reduces nausea and vomiting, it increases thirst and appetite, it influences the proper metabolism of the organism. It has got strong bactericidal properties. It kills bacteria and prevents their multiplication. It inhibits their growth. It prevents development of mycosis. It kills mold and fungi. It alleviates and removes the symptoms of allergy. It turns on the natural immunity of the organism. It stimulates homeostasis. It accelerates the healing of wounds. It fights skin diseases and makes the skin look younger. CBG is not a psychoactive substance. Similarly to other cannabinoids, it manifests calming and relaxing effects, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial and anti-germ, and to a moderate extent, anti-fungus effects. It supports treatment of allergies, psoriasis and other skin problems. But its strong effect fighting pathogens makes it demonstrate efficiency in the fight against such germs as MRSA bacteria, which is an extremely harmful variety of Staphylococcus aureus. Also, reports occur about its antidepression effect and preventing hypertension. There is also a huge interest in the beneficial effect of cannabigerol in the fight against cancer. So far, the best application was observed in the fight against prostate cancer, oral cavity, breast and the epithelial cancer in men. Numerous tests confirm a linkage between CBG effect and the content of other cannabinoids. The effect of CBG and the content of terpenes are also strictly related. These compounds closely harmonize and interact with each other to produce an even higher efficiency in easing the ailments.
Terpenoids have quite strong effects and while inhaled from the air with a concentration at the one-digit level, NGML1, influence the behavior of animals and even human beings. They demonstrate extraordinary healing effects that may significantly result in the so-called synergy effect, entourage effect of the healing extracts based on cannabis. For example, limonene demonstrated collaboration with CBG and CBD in promoting the apoptosis process in the breast cancer cells and myrcene, a terpenoid present in the hop, collaborates with CBG and CBD by blocking carcinogenesis within liver cancer caused by aflatoxins. On the other hand, linalool, the terpenoid present in lavender, seems to collaborate with CBD and CBG in treatment of fear. CBC and CBG also demonstrated synergic effect in the presence of the other terpenoid, cariophylline oxide, a natural compound present in lemon balm by demonstrating an antifungal effect at the level comparable with the medicines available for marketing, such as sulcanazole, and cyclopyrox. CBG also demonstrates synergic characteristics with terpenoids present in lemon balm acting as a means of deterring insects and antifeedant.